Just over two and a half hours from Manzanillo, Mexico, you will find Playa Colola, the black turtle capital of the world. Playa Colola is protected by the native Nahua community with support from biologists at the University of Michoacan and is one of the most successful wildlife conservation programs in the world. Hey guys, so I am presently in Colola, Mexico. I am spending a week with sea turtles volunteering here at a hatchery. So that means a lot of baby sea turtles. I'm so excited, there's actually the hatchery behind me. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of sea turtles and last year I volunteered with sea turtles and last in the Oso Peninsula in Costa Rica. So I'll leave that video down below if you're interested in that as well. But this year I'm especially excited because I have always wanted to help out with the baby hatchlings, the sea turtle hatchlings, so I became a huge fan of sea turtles at a very young age, I would say, but what really made me want to work with them was I saw this documentary once called Planet Earth Cities. Maybe you guys have seen it, but it was about how the baby sea turtle hatchlings get confused with the lights from either the roads or cities behind them, and they can sometimes not make it to the water. So I'm very excited to be helping facilitate them on their journey here. So there are hundreds of hundreds of nests here in Colola and there's actually a lot of vultures hanging around so we can already see how it can be very difficult for all the hatchlings to make it to the water. So I'm gonna be documenting how we're helping out this week and I hope that you consider taking a trip with sea turtles or volunteering at some point in your life. So I'll be sure to leave all the links down below. Playa Colola is one of the most extraordinary turtle nesting beaches in the world. From a low of 500 nests in 1999, these black turtles have recovered to have 35,000 nests in 2018 with nearly 2 million hatchlings. Sea Turtles has been funding the nesting beach work here since 2013 with more than 1 million hatchlings saved here through their donations alone. There's a link down in the description box if you feel inspired to donate. And now I'm going to show you something extra special. We got to let go of so many, so many adorable hatchlings. It was truly such an incredible experience, especially seeing them hatch from the ground. Like, oh my gosh, dream come true. I have a headlight on because I'm about to go out to check out to see if there's any mother turtles coming to lay their eggs, but I just wanted to tell you a cool fun fact. Actually, let me turn off the aircon for a second, or the fan, I mean, we don't have aircon. Okay, so fun fact that I learned is that Baby sea turtles are actually born with one tooth so that they can get themselves out of the egg but then a couple weeks after, two to three weeks afterwards, they actually lose that tooth. So there's a fun baby sea turtle hatchling fact. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna go out into the night to see the mums lay the eggs and if I can, I will get some cool footage of that for you guys. During nesting season, it is common to see 60 to 70 mama turtles nesting each night. The mamas come out from the water to lay their nests on the same beach they were born. When they find a good spot for their nest, the turtles enter into a meditative state to lay eggs, where they dig, lay, and bury for over three hours. If you look closely, you can see the eggs dropping into the nest. After the mama left, we dug up her eggs, 
put them into a bag and took them back to the hatchery where we dug a new hole for them. This protects them from various predators such as birds which actually stay out all night waiting for the eggs. Hey guys, so today we had a really fun beach day. We also had a beach day yesterday, which was really, really good. The beaches here are amazing, and there's basically no one else on the beach that we have it to ourselves, which is so beautiful. Lots of swimming, lots of waves. I even found a hatchling and helped him go all the way to the shore, which is pretty rare, right? Because they normally only hatch at the dusk and in the evening. As you guys saw and have seen, we're helping the hatchlings when they first hatch at dusk and then also in the evenings after we have dinner, we're just helping the mamas and taking the eggs and taking them back to the hatchery. So this has been a super cool experience and as amazing and as adorable as the baby sea turtles are, it's actually been so damn cool to see the mama turtles come and lay their eggs. The whole process for them takes about three and a half hours. So it's crazy they can dig so well and just create this most beautiful nest for their babies and yeah I, i'm just so happy to be experiencing this and i hope you guys are enjoying it as well so we're just about to go out for the evening and to check out some of the hatchlings so i'll show you guys a bit of that and then i'm going to close this vlog because tomorrow we're going on a hike and we have a few other things planned so i think i'm going to make its own video for that as well so i hope you guys have enjoyed a lot stay tuned for some baby hatchling footage and I'll see you again very soon. Heading back out to the beach, we had the opportunity to meet some new, really cool friends. This group of boys from a local school actually collect the eggs from the sea turtle nests on weekends for some extra money. This saves them from birds, wild dogs, and more. And they also wanted to show you guys some cool tricks. 